Hi there, so today I'm using Ultimate FPS along with Eddie's Vehicle Physics. I'm just going to call it Eddie's from here on out. Um, so what I've done is I've imported Ultimate FPS and I have imported Eddie's Vehicle Physics. Um, I'm going to, I opened up this city, the city simple scene. I've done nothing to this scene whatsoever. Um, first thing I'm going to do, um, so I have a couple scripts that I created using the uh, built-in um, Ultimate FPS uh, VP inter Interactable class. It's a script. Um, and so I'm going to use, I use that and I extended that to create a um, the vehicle interact switch and then I I created that as the base and then on top of that I inherited that and created um, one specific to Eddie's vehicle physics so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the players that comes with ultimate FPS and I'm going to put him um, right here next to the vehicle Sorry about that. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the inventory. So I have all the weapons and ammo, unlimited ammo, unlimited weapons. So I'm just going to deselect that. So on the vehicle itself, you'll see I've got that there is um, box colliders around here or colliders. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the colliders folder and I'm going to use the top collider because that's about eye level. So on this, I'm just going to add the scripts. Um, I created a namespace, so you'll see they're all under Red Hawk. And I'm going to use this vehicle interact switch EVP. Um, from here, we just have to assign all the things, but before I do that, I'm going to create an exit position. Um, so I've created a empty child on the center of mass. I'm just going to call it um, exit position. You can leave it as a child if you want, but I'm going to move it out here to the top level of the vehicle so that um, I can find it easier. Um, so I'm going to move it away from the vehicle. So this will be the point where the player exits the vehicle. So you want it away from the vehicle. So I'm just going to make it uh, minus two. And then you want it um, up from the ground a little bit. So I'm going to move it up. maybe 0 0.8. The, the settings are going to be different for yours. So we'll go back to the top. Um, we're going to assign our vehicle camera. The main camera is currently set up. Um, that's how it comes with this scene. The target is going to be our vehicle. Uh, and then we assign our exit position. If you had a representation of your player, like if you had a picture of the player sitting here, um, you would put the, that game object here, and what will happen is it will enable it or disable it. So I'm going to add the um, the interact texture that comes with Ultimate FPS. And then I am going to, so I'm going to put um, press F to enter, parentheses, exit. Uh, the reason I'm using F is over here on the input manager, our interact is assigned to the F um, key code. So I'm going to have no delay showing the text. Change this to four. Um, this top part acts just like a regular um, switch does. Uh, for sounds, I'm just going to add um, 
a switch sound just so we can hear it. And it's set up, it's done. So the setup is, is done at this point. Um, we can actually walk up to the vehicle. We can enter the vehicle, we can drive, we can get out. If I'm walking around now, you notice the vehicle is not moving. Um, if you want to allow the vehicle to um, take real damage, um, like if someone was shooting at it, what you would do is you would select the base vehicle and you would add the uh, VP damage handler script. Um, I'm going to put a grenade explosion as the um, as a the um, explosion prefab as the death spawn object. Um, no delay. I'm just going to leave the health and stuff uh, default. I'm also going to add a respawner. VP respawner. I'm just going to leave uh, the defaults how they are. So basically now, if we were in the vehicle and the vehicle has uh, exploded somehow, it's going to uh, launch us out of the vehicle. So if I put a explosion right here and restart, the vehicle is going to explode and we're going to be tossed out of the vehicle. So we were tossed out of the vehicle and we're still alive. See, so I can walk around and I can go get back in the vehicle. Or I can destroy the vehicle myself. So, next I'm going to show you uh, the scripts. Uh, I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. Um, so I've got my own namespace. Uh, this is the vehicle interact switch. It inherits the VP interactable. Um, this key code, I am automatically assigning that. I'm also automatically assigning the uh, game object. So here's this Boolean right here is just to tell us whether or not we're in the vehicle. I've made it public. It doesn't need to be public, but um, that way you can actually visually see it while you're testing your game out. And I have um, assigned variables for the vehicle camera. The target is the vehicle. I've got the exit position, and here's the player in vehicle. Um, I also added this functionality for the uh, damage handler, which was the reason why I could explode the vehicle. And then here's the audio sources and stuff. So on start, I disable the camera, the audio listener. I make sure that I check to see if there is a damage handler. I also make sure that the in the vehicle is false, so you can't you don't start the game in the vehicle. And I assign that key code. So I know it says F here, but whatever we actually have it in the UFPS input manager, it'll automatically change it right here. On update, it just checks to see if we're in the vehicle. If we are, it's going to wait for that key code, which was F, and it's going to call an action. Also, if it has a damage handler, it'll check to see the current health, and if it does, it'll call vehicle die. Um, this try interact, um, basically the piece right here, um, notice I'm overriding. Um, so whenever you're overriding it, I'm overriding the one from uh, the VP interactable. So it is going to assign the player event handler because um, that's the only thing that can interact with it and it's going to call the action um, also the vehicle die um, if you're in the vehicle it'll basically kick you out of the vehicle so the inaction is if you're in the vehicle you get out if you're in um, if you're not in the vehicle it'll put you in the vehicle and it uh, toggles your true and false off so get in, it grabs the player object, makes it um, a child of the vehicle, and makes it false. And you just move the, I'm just moving the object to the vehicle. Um, I also disable the camera, um, I enable the camera and the audio listener. 
and I turn that player um, object on or off. And then faults, I do, I mean, to get out, I do the opposite, plus I play a sound. Um, this interact plays a sound when the player interacts with it. And then this is the switch. I just copy this directly from VP switch. Now the difference, um, so this is just a base. Since I'm using using EVP, I had to um, in, use their namespace, Eddie's namespace. These components are the components that I am that are specific to Eddie's vehicle. So on start, I'm running my base plus I'm making sure I have references to those. I'm making sure the brake input is off. It's it's full brake so it doesn't move. And then on the get in and get out, I changed where I have my the input and the specific camera controller for Eddie's. Um, and then also right here, I'm grabbing the view configuration for this particular vehicle. This, this should be set up for all your vehicles. So it'll grab these different distances and it'll actually assign it to uh, these vehicle camera control settings. So the orbit or the smooth follow. You can see here which ones I'm assigning. Um, so that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. And I hope this is easy to understand and easy to follow and enjoy.